If you've ever had random stutter, crackling audio, or input delay that doesn't make sense, even with a powerful CPU and GPU, there's a hidden enemy at play, interrupt storms and DPC latency. These happen when a driver or device spams your CPU with interrupts, forcing it to constantly drop what it's doing. The result? Lag spikes, dropped frames, and unstable FPS. Today, I'll show you how to fix Windows interrupt storms and reduce ISR and DPC latency step by step. This is next level optimization, the stuff nobody talks about, but it can transform how smooth your system feels. Step one, measure and identify the culprit, latency mon plus device manager. First things first, you need to actually verify that ISR or DPC latency is a real problem on your system. No guesswork here, we want hard data. Start by downloading Latency Mon. I've included the link in the description. Make sure you get it from the official Resplendent site. Once installed, run it as administrator and hit start. Let it run in the background while you're gaming, watching videos, or putting your system under some kind of real world stress. Basically, just use your PC like you normally would, but keep Latency Mon running. Now, if you start seeing red warnings, especially related to dxgkrnl.sys, that's your GPU driver, ndis.sys, network related, storeport.sys, storage, or even audio drivers like hdaudbus.sys. Those are big red flags. These point to interrupt storms or badly optimized drivers, both of which can cause serious latency spikes and performance issues. Now here's a quick secondary check using Device Manager. Open it up, then go to View, Resources by Type. Scroll down and expand Interrupt Request, IRQ. What you're looking for are devices that are sharing the same IRQ line like your GPU, USB controller, and network adapter all stack together. If you see that overlap, it's a strong indicator of ISR conflicts and often the source of those latency issues. Keep an eye out. That kind of IRQ stacking isn't always obvious, but it's a classic cause of performance bottlenecks that most people miss. Step 2. Force MSI mode for devices to stop IRQ sharing. Many modern devices are built to support MSI mode, message signaled interrupts, which helps eliminate the old method of IRQ interrupt request sharing that can cause performance issues. To get started, download the MSI Utility V3 from the safe link provided in the description. Once downloaded, right-click on the MSI Utility and choose to run it as administrator. Inside the utility, locate your critical devices such as your GPU, graphics card, network adapter, storage controllers, and USB controller. For each of these devices, ensure that MSI is enabled and set the priority to high for both your GPU and NIC network interface card. This will move those devices off the older line-based IRQ system and help prevent interrupt collisions which could slow down your system. If you prefer to make the changes directly through the registry editor, follow these steps. Once there, find the key MSI supported and set its value to 1. After making the change, restart your PC to apply the adjustments. By this point, you should notice that Latency Mon or any similar performance tool will show noticeable improvement in latency. Step 3. Tame Network and USB ISR Spikes One of the biggest causes of interrupt storms can be traced back to NIC, network interface controller drivers, and USB controllers. These components often generate excessive interrupt requests that can slow down your system. Let's break down how to fix that for both network and USB devices. Network NIC fixes. Open Device Manager. Press Win plus X and select Device Manager from the menu. Expand the Network Adapter section and locate your Ethernet or Wi-Fi adapter. Right-click on your network device and select Properties. Go to the Advanced tab in the Properties window. Now disable the following settings to reduce unnecessary interrupts. Interrupt Moderation 
This option is designed to throttle interrupt requests, but it often causes latency issues, especially during high traffic periods. Energy Efficient Ethernet Disable this setting to stop power saving features that can trigger interruptions. Set receive buffers and transmit buffers to higher values, 5, 12, or 10, 24. This will help handle a higher volume of data without causing interruptions, reducing the chances of packet loss or delays. If you want an additional performance boost, you can tweak the registry settings. Registry Boost. Open RegEdit. Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, and press Enter. Navigate to Hyperlink HKey Local Machine. Add two new D-word values, TCP ACK frequency equals 1. This disables delayed acknowledgement of packets, reducing TCP IP latency. TCP no delay equals 1. This disables Nagel's algorithm, which can cause delays in packet transmission. These registry tweaks will reduce packet batching and improve responsiveness. USB fixes. Interrupt storms aren't just a problem for network devices, they can also affect USB peripherals, especially when you're using devices like a mouse or keyboard. Here's how to fix that. Open Device Manager again and expand the Universal Serial Bus Controllers section. For each USB root hub, especially for USB 3.0 hubs, right-click and select Properties. Go to the Power Management tab in the Properties window. Uncheck Allow the computer to turn this device off to save power. Disabling this power saving feature ensures that the USB hub is always active, preventing unexpected ISR interrupt service routine spikes that can cause issues with peripherals like your mouse or keyboard. By following these steps, you should notice a drop in unwanted ISR spikes, leading to smoother performance across both network and USB devices. Step 4. Registry Tweaks for DPC and Timer Precision Windows, by default, sometimes coalesces timers and delays the execution of DPCs, deferred procedure calls. This can lead to micro-stuttering or inconsistent performance, especially in latency-sensitive tasks. Fortunately, with a few simple tweaks, we can address these issues. Command Line Tweaks To start, we'll use the command prompt to adjust some settings that can help stabilize the system's timers and improve overall latency. Open CMD as Administrator. Type CMD in the search bar, right-click on Command Prompt, and select Run as Administrator. In the Command Prompt, enter the following three commands one by one. These commands will force stable timers, preventing fluctuations that can cause interruptions or stuttering, stop windows from batching interrupts, ensuring faster, more responsive handling, sync CPU TSC across cores, reducing timing inconsistencies, and minimizing micro-stutter. Registry tweaks for DPC latency. After adjusting the command line settings, we can go deeper into the registry to fine-tune DPC latency handling. Here's what to do. Open the registry editor by pressing WinR, typing RegEdit, and hitting Enter. Navigate to the following path. Once in the kernel folder, you'll need to create a new DWORD value. Right-click in the right pane and select New DWORD 32-bit value. Name this new value Interrupt Affinity Policy. Set its value to 2. This registry tweak will spread interrupts across multiple CPU cores rather than allowing one core to handle all of them. This helps prevent a single core from becoming overwhelmed and ensures that the system can distribute processing loads more evenly, leading to better performance and lower latency. After making these changes, a restart is required to apply them. Step 5. Disable hidden ETW and WMI event logging. Background ISR load. Event tracing for Windows ETW 
and Windows Management Instrumentation, WMI, often inject hidden interrupts. CMD Quick Disable. And that's it. You've just learned how to fix Windows interrupt storms and stop ISR DPC latency spikes. Most people never touch this level of optimization, but for gamers chasing smooth 1% lows, audio producers avoiding crackles, or anyone fighting random stutter, this is a game changer. If this helped you, smash that like button, drop a comment with your latency mon results, and subscribe for more next level optimization guides. Your PC isn't just faster now, it's finally stable.